Okay, here we're going to draw some circles. So we've got this form x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And you have to recognize that whenever you've got x squared plus y squared equals something as a circle. So x squared plus y squared equals r squared and r is the radius. So in this example, x squared plus y squared equals 100. So r squared is 100. So r squared is 100. So that means the radius is 10 because 10 times 10 makes 100. So we draw a circle. Um, it's from the center. So these x squared plus y squared equals r squared always start in the center. And this is the radius squared. So it's going to go up to 10. Um, and go to minus 10, minus 10, and 10. So what we do is we just need to take our compass and we'll just go around so the aim is <laughs> for it to be a circle um, with a radius of 10 we've got another circle here x squared plus y squared equals r squared so x squared plus y squared equals 64 that just means the radius is 8 because 8 squared is 64 so we're going to have a circle center 0 and it's going to go through 8 minus 8 8 8 and minus 8 it's going to be 8 away on every side we're going to try and draw a circle although it, it might miss so we extend this out to 8 and we're just going to go around so again unfortunately it has not drawn it completely accurately but um, you get the point so it should go through 8 and minus 8 um, there's obviously something a bit wrong here and finally we've got x squared plus y squared equals 144 so in this case the radius is going to be 12 because 12 squared is 144 so it's going to go through 12 12 minus 12 and minus 12 so we'll try it again although unfortunately it will miss um, so we'll extend that out to 12 and We'll go around and again it should have gone through 12 and minus 12 here but um, these obviously aren't actual squares so unfortunately we've missed slightly but the point is that it should go through 12 minus 12 minus 12 and 12